Just like Michelangelo into the blue on heavenly wings. Cargo hand bones don't take off no smoke, no mirror, no strings. I can't take off these dark shades. I can only say how it's too beautiful. Our town, our town on TV, our town. You and me Upside down Hanging out of an airplane Welcome to Our Town And I'm your host, Larry Frost We have a great show for you today We're opening up at the Ainsby Community Television Studios Channel 12 uh, The first segment will go to See the new mural by John Moores The second segment will be the uh, new senior center update. Third segment will be the Lieutenant Derek Hines Memorial Bridge update. And our fourth segment will have Rosemary Warner to give us an update on the 9-11 ceremonies which will be held at Landry Stadium this year. So let's get started. Welcome to this segment of Our Town. We're here at Arc Technology on Elm Street for the new John Moore's mural which will represent three centuries of Ainsbury. Uh, the first one will be the 1800 carriage industry, and the second will be the 1900 car industry, and the third window down all the way will be 2000 or current industries. As you can see, John's already working hard on the first, the middle one, which will be the um, Edison electric car. So let's go check it out. That's it for this segment. Let's go on to the next segment. Welcome to this segment of Our Town. Today is uh, July 19th, and we're down at the Nicholas Costello Transportation Building and New Senior Center Building. It's a beautiful day out. Let's go check it out.
we do leave the site, I thought it'd be nice kind of to show you what's really going on here. This is the grand room or the great room where the seniors will have most of their activities. And behind me where the um, wood is holding up the wall is the uh, kitchen. And down the far end will be where the buses and transportation center will be. So from the Nicholas Costello Transportation Center and New Senior Center, let's go on to the next segment. Welcome to this segment of Our Town. It's July 20th, another beautiful day down here. We're down at the Lieutenant Derek Hines Memorial Bridge. So let's go check it out.
Well, that's it from Lieutenant Derek Hines Memorial Bridge. On to the next segment. Welcome to the segment of Our Town with Rosemary Werner, who will talk about the 9-11 ceremonies this year, which will be held at Landry Stadium, and it's called an Evening of Heroes. Hi, Larry. Good you? to see you again. Great to see you. Um, it's exciting because we're coming down to the home stretch, and um, we um, have had a wonderful um, outpouring of support from the uh, community uh, for this. In fact, the Provident Bank and the Newburyport Five Cent Savings Bank are our two gold sponsors. Wow. They're, um, yeah, they're kind of bookending this, which is marvelous. And because of that support, we're able to hire the Merrimack Valley Orchestra. So we also have um, uh, the Institution for Savings, which is, yeah. um, you know, sponsoring us and also the credit union and other businesses. So I'm really excited about that. And the other thing we just did is we just finished speaking with um, the Barking Dog and there's other restaurants that will wow. support us with the food for the um, afterwards at the middle school. There, there will be a um, collation. So it'll be exciting to, um, after it's over, for everybody to get together. At Landry Stadium. Landry Stadium, um, September 11th at 7 o'clock at night. Okay. And um, it's called An Evening of Heroes. We will acknowledge 9-11 on that day mm -hmm. because we have to. It's something that changed all our oh, lives. Yes. And uh, But there is a lot more to the evening. We sold hero flags, and the flags are the fact that we people purchase a flag in memory of somebody that's a hero in their life mm -hmm. and the flags are buy those now also yes the they're on sale until the end of the month and then the cutoff is is on okay. because we have to get the names of the people you purchased it and it has to go into the program and so we have to have oh, a cutoff okay. date yeah. um, and the flags are beautiful they're made in America which is important they're three feet by five feet they're nylon and they have um, an eight-foot pole that they're on so they will be flying in the stadium and then they will be blessed in the stadium oh, wow. we've invited yeah. a lot of clergy to come um, priests, ministers, a bishop, um, a Buddha, and um, they're all going to come into the center of the stadium and they will bless it, led by our own um, pastor, uh, Father Lou, is, will be there. So we're very excited about that. We also think that will be very moving. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Um, the names of the hero that you purchased in honor of will be on the flag and you can also purchase them in honor of somebody that is alive or deceased we've had people purchase them in fact for a teacher well, that they the hero, right? yes <laughs> and it can be defined in a lot of different yeah. ways yeah. so that was really that's really going to look really nice there and um did we you have want to tell any other surprises like people who are coming or any well you know, we have um, a flyover which is exciting and I hope that people will come and bring their family and bring their friends and I think that there's something for everybody mm -hmm. I think you should look at it as a great patriotic evening that's oh, yeah. what it will yeah. be and I think it will make a great memory for anybody and I'm excited because the Amesbury High School band will participate and also we have the um, Boy Scouts and um, they're going to come out with the flags from every state in the Union, wow. which will be wonderful. And then we have the Brownies and the Girl Scouts are coming out with the big American flag. So, so on the field, on the, on yes. the you'll have different segments. Yes, set up. we will. And we have 25 bagpipers coming in and, um, you know, it will be, um, and, and we have soloists that will sing, and, and the choir, the mm -hmm. heroes chorus, there's 80 people in that, and they will sing throughout the evening, so um, it's a wonderful, and Peg Doyle um, has been working very hard with the chorus, and I'm excited because we have members in the chorus that are from Salisbury, Newburyport, um, 
Mary Mac, Amesbury, Southampton. So, so extended community. Yeah, yeah, and I like that idea. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. the idea that our neighbors and friends are, are joining well, us with us. Neighbors. Yeah, <laughs> but I am. I'm excited because I think that it'll be it, w it will be meaningful for all of us. And um, we've had a great committee. Um, the executive committee is. Um, Mayor Thatcher Keyser mm -hmm. and Chief Mark Agnan, Lieutenant Kevin Ouellette, Fire Chief John right. Brickett, yep. um, Dr. Maris Detola, and um, Peg Doyle, and um, we have Gino DiFiorio, and uh, Ricky Poulin, and all of yep. they've been, uh, you know, Sandra Jutras, they've all been, um, well, you know, so we've been working. Long time, really. Yes, yeah. and, and I've worked with them before, and so it's, it's really been great because everybody has, you know, we, Peter Hoyt is going to be the MC for yep, that evening, that's and um, that's, that's we, you know, he, he does a wonderful job. And I'm excited about the banks and the businesses that have been so supportive. I'm not surprised because the Provident it's a Bank. It's continuation of. It really is. Yeah. yeah, the Provident Bank and the Newburyport Five have been so good to this community mm -hmm. always. And so, you know, they stepped up to the plate again. They've sold flags uh, in their banks, wow. plus uh, they're helping us be uh, gold sponsors, so it's great. So I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be a great evening. I think that, you know, the gates are going to open at 530, okay. and um, the road will be blocked off. So there's a lot that will be going in the newspaper to let people know yep. about it. Yep. There's also and the buses. And right now on Channel 12. Yes, yep. and, and uh, Channel 12 has that. And the buses will be at the high school and at the oh, Cashman okay. School. And then people can park here yeah, and then the ride the down. buses to the stadium yeah. and then get the pick the buses up at the stadium afterwards. Do you know about how long you thought it would last? Um, we think seven to nine. Okay. And um, I just wanted to give you a little update because I know you met him. But um, the Lord Mayor of Waterford, John Halligan, that you know, he yeah. said to send you, say hello. I talked with him he and uh, he <laughs> did. Well, you interviewed him <laughs> and um, he said um, he has his, his uh, ran for the Minister of Southern Ireland and he won. Yep. And he is now the Minister for the South of Ireland and he's out of Dublin Castle now. He's at the, in the Irish government, wow. does the business there. But I was talking to him about a month ago, and we, he had asked me what I was working on, and I told him, and he said that um, the Irish government wanted to send a declaration to the, us for that evening, which, as, will, be that which will be yeah. read that night in support of... He loved of, our town. Oh, he did. <laughs> our town. <laughs> he truly did love <laughs> our town. <laughs> But the actual town, not the he, show. Why he not did. Like the show he did. And um, he was amazed at things that I think we've taken for granted. Mm -hmm. He was, you know, he, at the time, he, you know, checked the, he got a tour of the police station and Mark showed him all the latest equipment, the 911 enhanced equipment. And uh, John Brickett showed him, you know, um, the cameras that yep. they use that's and a lot of yep. different things that, that, yeah. And collaboration, I think that's what he And, and that's what he and was, and he was really, you know, when he visited um, our neighbor's table and saw the van that had been purchased, mm -hmm. um, you know, by the bank. And, and he's like, this is what we need to do to, yep, to, no. to help each yep. other. And he thought that it was an amazing achievement to have so many businesses reach out. And he was, um, you know, he said his eyes were just open so much by the police and fire department, all the different things that the police department does, all the things it sponsors. It's unheard of. And, and I think... In the paper if you were to list everything. Well, you know, I don't think we probably realize it, mm -hmm. but, um, and I, th I remember when I was director of our neighbor's table, 
that um, I was at a meeting in Boston and I told him that the police department paid the rent in the dining room where we did the yeah, meal. Yeah, and yeah. they were like, are you serious? And I said, yes, I am. And they were like, wow, I'm going to go back to our police department so and say, the same thing? yeah. So it was an eye opener, um, you know, for him because he thought that a lot of businesses that um, should try and give back the way they do. And you've seen the same connection in the 9-11 ceremony. Everybody's yes. Up and doing what yes. To do anyway, That's so they right. Are doing it, yes, and they are. And it has been wonderful. Like Brad Ford has been, um, you know, um, helping. He's coordinating, coordinating things with us with the school. And um, we have a lot of the kids that are going to help us from here. And I'm thrilled about that because I think that it will... I think it gives them a good feeling. And a long memory. I mean, yes. Their whole life they'll be Yeah, they and I think people will remember this ceremony. I think that it is, is you know, but um, I think it's wonderful. Is so kind of wrap up? Um, no, I think, I hope, uh, there's a huge committee. I yep. mean, there's a committee that's doing the flags, Bob Evans and Bob Bastine and all of them that are doing a fabulous job with that. And there's a lot of people doing a lot of, I couldn't even begin to tell you each member because I will, I will really remember some, around. I'll forget somebody. But um, it is a wonderful evening, and uh, the flags are on sale until the end of this month only. No, will there be a cost to go in? It's uh, no, it's twenty-five dollars to purchase you, the flag. If you purchase flag, but yeah. If you don't do that. Everything else for a family that may oh, have a lot of money. It's a free night. It's a free them. evening for yeah. them. One of the things I did want to tell you, though, is that um, we thought that if we had any money left over, we would donate it to the Wounded Warrior Project. Oh, well, yep. And the kids are going to have buckets at the stadium to okay, go around for a free will offering for that. And we will have a representative of the wounded warriors there that evening. So Excellent. that will be nice. And we've sent out invitations to all the different police and fire departments and mayors and managers of the town. So we're hoping that all within the sound of our voice will come that evening. And dress properly because there may be other camera crews there. Other than 12, <laughs> yeah. right? Well, um, it will be filmed by Comcast and also Channel 5 and 7 um, are going to send um, something to it. And I think it'll be fun for the kids to see It's also a chance them. of ANGP to really show how good we are. Yes. If they film, other people film it to really show the natural uh, love that we have for each other and how That's we support right. each other. So and you know, we have to really make ourselves look good. It really is. And you know, Les Anderson, that has been helping us, uh, he's on the stadium committee. And Mike, I think that stadium is such a wonderful little jewel. And I think it's, utilize, but I, I think it's a wonderful way to utilize this as mm -hmm. well. And Les has been so great about, you know, helping with you know the logistics of it so uh, we're really fortunate to to have somebody from the stadium that helps but you know it takes everybody yeah, to do it's this in the it, takes a village. it takes a village <laughs> it does I indeed that yeah it does take doesn't it Oh, yes. Yeah. On a newspaper, so if anybody needs any more information, they can check the newspaper. New, yes. It's all going to be in the New Report News, the daily, the Amesbury News. Okay. It will be in the Haverhill Gazette. It will be in the Lawrence Newspapers and Boston North. So they're all involved with it right now. And the program's uh, pretty well set. You don't need any, any participants on the inside, just people to show up to watch. Right. I, I, I would urge people to come and sit in the stands and just sit there and just Take enjoy yeah. that evening because it will be spectacular. Think about it. We have the Merrimack Valley Orchestra. We have an 80-piece chorus. We have the Amesbury High School Band. We have a flyover. It's going to be fabulous. You're such a promoter. It's good It's job. going <laughs> to be fabulous. It will indeed. It will indeed. Uh, is there anything else you want to cover? No. We, just okay. um, I'm glad the sun is coming out tomorrow. Yes. Today would have yeah. been better, but tomorrow is good. We'll take it. We'll take it. I hope you have a good summer. Well, thank you. And I haven't had a great summer, but thank good. you very much. Good. Thank you, and Rosemary. Good to see you again. So try to plan uh, to be a little bit different because it's going to be 9-11, right? It's on 9-11. At, at night instead Sunday. of the daytime. So just plan Seven to be there and fill up the stadium the best we can. Yeah, thank you. Okay, on to the next segment. Thank you very much. 
Well, that's it for today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank John Moores for the beautiful mural he's doing. Also want to thank Rosemary Werner for her update on the 9-11 ceremonies, which will be held at Landry Stadium this year. And I also want to thank the personnel at the Ainsby Community Television Channel 12 for letting me use the, uh, the studio here today. Work hard, stay healthy, and please take time to care for someone from our town. Bye-bye, we're out of here. Just like Michelangelo into the blue On heavenly wings Cargo hand bones don't take off No smoke, no mirror, no strength I can't take off these dark shades I can only say how It's too beautiful Our town, our town On TV, our town you and me Upside down Hanging out of an airplane 